Now, why does anything have high boiling point or high temp melting point? Simply because the forces are very strong. We need more energy to break the forces. So a couple of definitions that we need to know for this chapter. For example, the first one is what is a melting point? It is a, it's a place where all states start becoming liquid. So it's a temperature, right? Temperature and makes the state go to liquid? Yeah. So the solid changes to a liquid. So it's a temperature at which a solid changes to liquid. And this is fixed for a pure solid because a pure solid has a fixed set of forces and to overcome them we need a fixed temperature we need a high enough kinetic energy that they can use to overcome the forces so heat it up they move faster they have kinetic energy and eventually they overcome the forces and the solid changes to liquid it's fixed for pure solid and that is important we can check whether something is pure or not based on its melting point if it is fixed it's a pure solid if it's not fixed, it's an impure solid. So we can use the melting point can be used to check if a substance or a solid is pure. Why? Because a pure solid will have a fixed melting point. So for example, if I give you a glass of water and I ask you, please check if this is pure water or not. All you need to do is put it the thermometer and freeze it. If it freezes at exactly zero, then yes, it is pure. If it freezes at some other temperature, it's not pure. And again, remember that melting and boiling points are affected by the pressure. They are affected by other conditions. So we do it at the normal temperature, uh, normal pressure. So they have to have fixed melting point. Now, another question that is sometimes asked you is that why does why do some substances have higher melting points. So again, let's go back to how things melt. They change their state because they overcome the forces. So if the forces are strong, you need more energy to melt. It has nothing to do with the kinetic energy of particles and the temperature that changes because temperature does not change during state change. So that's another question that we come to. So for this one, why do some substances have higher kinetic and higher melting point? Because the forces of attraction are strong. So higher energy is required to break them. So that's another important point. That if something has strong forces, we need more energy to break. That's it. Okay. Then another question is, why does temperature not change during melting? And it doesn't have to be just melting. It will be the same for boiling, same for any other state change. Change of temperature except evaporation. We'll come to evaporation in a bit. So why does temperature not change? What do you think? Again, the answer is here in this diagram. Why does temperature not change when you're melting something? Because it has to reach its maximum position, but like temperature needed to change. I'm sorry, can you say that again? It has reached its maximum temperature. It's like it has reached the point where it needed to needed to melt. Again, it has reached a temperature that is required to melt it. But why is it that it stays fixed there? You're heating something up. You have a solid. Let's say I have a block of aluminum that I want to melt. I heat it. I heat it in a furnace. I get to a temperature, which is its melting point. And then even though I'm heating it, it's not that I stopped heating. It, I'm still heating it. But the temperature does not change. Now it starts to melt, but the temperature is not changing, even though I'm heating. I mean, what was happening a minute ago was that I was heating it. It was getting hotter and hotter and hotter, and its temperature was increasing. But now, even though I'm doing the same thing, I'm still heating it up. But it's not melting anymore. Why is that? So you can understand that by knowing that you're providing heat energy. That's what you're doing. The block of aluminum or whatever you have, it can use that energy to change the kinetic energy of its particles, which means the temperature will change. And that is what you see when it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. But then 
it also gets to a point where the energy is not used in energy is used to overcome the forces that it already has and if that happens if you get to a situation where energy is used to overcome the forces and not to change the kinetic energy of particles that is when the state changes now at that point kinetic energy is not changing which means temperature is not changing do you see the connection Temperature only changes if kinetic energy changes. But if all the energy that anything gets goes here, no energy goes here. So kinetic energy doesn't change, temperature doesn't change. So all energy is used to overcome forces of attraction. Kinetic energy stays constant. So temperature stays constant. So anytime temperature changes, kinetic energy changes. In fact, average kinetic energy. 